This is Jonathan Simpson with Warcraft Science on how to use Auctionator. Although the world of Warcraft does not revolve around its economy, acquiring gold is a necessary part of the game. Simply leveling up, you will occasionally run into items that have value to players that you don't particularly need yourself. Also, many of the trade and gathering skills produce items and materials that other people are willing to buy. Even though it's possible to buy and sell by yelling in trade chat, you'll find yourself needing to use the auction house at some point. Many of the items you can create require large amounts of materials. Although it is possible to collect all of the materials necessary to create most of the items you require, it saves a great deal of time to buy some of them instead of collecting them yourself. It can also save you money to farm the more expensive materials longer in order to sell the extra, and then simply purchase the cheaper ones. The more items and materials you wish to buy and sell, the more problematic it becomes. For example, as a jewel crafter, I might want to keep several hundred gems up at any given time. Purchasing the materials for these items as well as keeping my gems up for sale can be extremely time consuming. There are a number of add-ons that can help make the auction house more productive, but my favorite option is Auctionator. As you can see, once the add-on is installed, it adds three new tabs to the bottom of the auction house window. The far left Auctionator tab is Buy, and functions similarly to the Blizzard Browse tab. In the search box at the top, you can type the name of items or materials you are looking for. If I search, for example, the name of a raw gem, I get a listing of that raw gem, but in addition, I also get any cut gems that contain the name of the raw gem I was originally looking for. Once the search is complete, the buy window will give me a list of any items that match and display the lowest price that I could purchase one for. If I click on a listing, it will expand and show me all the auctions for this item. If you select a wrong option by mistake, simply click the back button towards the top of the window. Auctionator will automatically sort the items by lowest price per unit, even if the items are being sold in stacks. Be sure that you take into consideration the price of the entire stack if you wish to purchase at this price. Notice also that it will only display one listing for multiple auctions that are being sold for the same price. Once you find what you're looking for, click Buy at the bottom. This will open a dialog box with Buy One and Cancel buttons. If the line you clicked on represents multiple auctions, click Buy One for as many as you wish to purchase. If you queue up enough purchases, it can take the add-on a little bit to catch up with you. However, it is still incredibly faster than the default interface. You'll also notice on the Buy tab, on the left-hand side, a list of things you have recently searched for. You can create a new shopping list by clicking the button at the very bottom. Give the new list a name and click Accept. When you have a shopping list selected, you can add items by clicking the Add Item button just below the list. It will add whatever you have typed in the search bar at the top to your list. If you click any item in the shopping list, it will perform a search. It's a good idea to properly capitalize and completely type out each item you wish to add, so the list is not confusing to look at later. The next tab across the bottom is the Sell tab. Auctionator will automatically search the market for the same item you're putting up for sale and undercut the lowest price. You can highlight any sale from the list and the add-on will slightly undercut that posting, or you can manually fill in the bid and buy out prices yourself. If you are selling multiple items of the same type, you can specify how many you wish to put up for sale and how many you want in each stack, if the item can be stacked. At the bottom, you can also select a duration for your auctions. Once you have the settings the way you want, click Create Auction and it will post them all for you. It will split any stacks you might have to meet the settings you have in place as it posts the auctions. I cannot even express how much time this saves you in putting up multiple auctions, but it's incredible. To modify Auctionator settings, you can go through the Game menu, Interface, Add-ons, and then select Auctionator, or from any Auctionator tab, click the Options button on the top right. The first category is Basic Options, and lets you modify things like what tab the auction house will open to by default, and the duration of your auctions using the Sell tab. Tooltip lets you modify Auctionator values in the in-game tooltips when you mouse over items. Undercutting allows you to set how much you want to post your auctions for below the ones that are currently up, and Database will let you select what type of Auctionator data will be stored for later use. The Selling category has some very useful options. Here you can specify default settings for the different types of materials and items, so you don't have to configure them individually each time you put them up. You can set how big of a stack you want to sell them as, and how many you wish to sell at once. Sometimes if you post too many of the same type of items at once, it lowers the value, so you might not want to sell them all at the same time. There are several pre-configured categories of items, although you can manually add your own. Auctionator is a very valuable tool, and I hope it serves you as well as it served me. Notice the links in the description below this video, as they are related to the material we discussed. If you found this tutorial helpful, please subscribe, favorite, and click like on this video, as we depend upon your support.